this is another separable differential equation. So again, I'm going to rewrite this as y third dy dx, which equals y to the fourth plus one cosine of x. Now, I'm going to divide this over here and multiply dx on this side. So you get y to the fourth plus one divided by, or y third divided by y fourth to the plus one, uh, dy which equals cosine of x dx. And now we can take the integral. So this one you do, we have to do some u substitution such that you do let u equal y to the fourth plus one. Take the derivative of u with respect to y, which is four y cubed, derivative of this is zero, and now I'm going to rearrange this so I could solve for dy. So du is divided by 4y cubed, which equals dy. And simply all we have to do is plug in this dy, or this du over 4y third, into here. And now we can solve for this integral. So, since we said that y fourth plus 1 is u, we can plug in u right here, and we can do this part. So it's going to be y cubed over u. dy we said is du over 4y cubed. And these cancel, which equals 1 fourth integral of du over u, which equals what we have over here, integral of cosine of x dx. So if we have that, we could solve for the integral. So it's just one fourth ln of absolute value of u. The integral of cosine. So the derivative of sine is cosine, so the integral of cosine must be sine. So sine x plus c. And all we have to do is plug in u. So we have the general solution. So I'm going to do this up here. So if we plug in u, we get one fourth ln of y to the fourth plus one, which equals sine x plus c. All right. So this could also this doesn't need the absolute value anymore because this is always positive. So it could just be something like that. Now, most teachers or most professors would want you to probably solve for a function of y of x. So we could do that quite simply. So you multiply by 4 on this side and you e it. So let's do ln of y to the 4th plus 1. That equals 4 sine of x. And then that number times the constant is just another constant, which I'm going to keep as c. And now to solve for y, you have to take the e of both sides. So you get y to the 4th plus 1 e to the 4 sine x plus c. Well, this is also equal to e to the 4 sine x times e to the c. And this is just another constant. So we can rewrite this as y4 plus 1 is c. Let me see. Y, y4 plus 1 equals c times e to the 4 sine x. We can subtract 1 and take the fourth root of this. So it would be y of x equals c e to the 4 sine of x minus 1, all that to the 1 fourth power. That way. And uh, I forgot one minor detail, it's actually quite major, but since this is an even exponent, you can never forget your plus or minus whatever root. So, actually this is plus or minus. So you have all the solutions within the formula, and now this is your general solution. Uh, that's it for today, uh, please subscribe if you want more videos like this, I'll be doing a lot, a lot, a lot of examples and pretty soon I'll move on to physics, but as of now I'm kind of busy. So there'll be a lot more differential equations coming soon.